Hello, this is Chris with Elevate Net. We're doing another unboxing. Today is the Quattro uh, P600. This is an NVIDIA product. This is a video card with four MDP uh, outputs, and each output is actually capable of doing 4K. That's what we're looking for. Uh, off of this video card, I'm likely gonna end up using a handful of them in the same machine and be able to either push eight to 12 uh, 4K displays for monitoring all the systems we deal with. So again, this is uh, just the Quattro P600. This is not the highest output or highest RAM card, but for what we're gonna be doing, this will certainly do well. So this is just what the box looks like straight out of the shipping box. We'll just open this guy up. Simple plastic on the outside. So it looks like we have just the uh, small cardboard with the internal cardboard box. Slides right out. Pretty simple setup. And opens on the end. For some, it's been out of the box, obviously. And then another slide out here. And that's the slide straight out of the box. Handful of different uh, loose items there, as you can hear them falling to the ground. Uh, so this is the actual video card as it comes inside the uh, little clamshell casing. So this is just fully plastic around uh, the card itself. I'm actually quite surprised that it does not have any anti-static bag around the card, but I suspect uh, this plastic shouldn't be a conductor of any sort that would cause us issues. So as it comes out of the box, as you can see, it has actually got the um, the half height or smaller uh, slot cover there. However, it does come with a full size, so you can put this into a standard case if you don't um, have the constraints of that video or <laughs> that constraints of the actual physical space. Uh, one thing that is nice about this card, even though it is the mini, um, it does come with four of these adapters, so that brings us just to standard HDMI output. You just have these little dongles that come off the rear here. So again, the MDP output from the card itself, and then the, your HDMI on the output here. That's what that should be. <clears throat> now it doesn't seem like on all of the sites where they're selling these, it actually indicates 4K, but it, they are supposed to be compatible with uh, 4K screens, and it does say that in the box. Now, as far as the information on the machine itself, uh, so it is a 2 gig DDR5 GPU memory, where in some of the other models they have 8 gig uh, capacity. There are some of these cards that do 8 uh, outputs as well. There are different types of cards for different types of needs, so depending what your actual needs are, if you're not trying to push some high-end graphics or video gaming, whatever it may be, this card will likely do you quite well. And again, we're just looking for informational pages, status on devices, etc. So the P600 should do quite well. So the last thing is just some of the documentation here. So inside here, this is a little clamshell type setup, we have some of the user manual information. All the information about the card itself, everything that you can need as far as your setup. I imagine this is, uh, yeah, this is the general Quattro manual. So for all the different models, they have different types of outputs. And then it indicates specifically on here, depending on your model, since this is the P600, its capabilities and everything therein. And then the software that comes with it, I imagine drivers, etc., are going to be on the same disk along with the software uh, for managing the cards. Uh, that the NVIDIA management software is pretty nice, especially when you start dealing with uh, organization of multiple different displays. I imagine the driver on here, however, will be a little bit out of date, so I suggest installing the software, the driver that is current, and seeing if there is an update available. So now that we're down to it, let's actually open up the card itself. It is a pretty slick old car, and I do love NVIDIA more than just about any other um, video platform. They always have done me quite well as far as the video cards I've used over the decades, and it, um, I don't expect anything else from this device. So again, it's just the four outputs here on the rear I.O., and then you have your PCI Express for your interface. Nice 
cooling fan built right into the device. And if I remember right, um, the size of this in comparison to some of the other cards that are available is a lot smaller. So you get a pretty good video card for the footprint inside your case, depending on what your physical constraints might be. So again, this is the Quattro P600, just doing a simple unboxing as well as explanation of its uh, abilities and uh, some of the things that it has here. Thank you for watching.